here at Nick's Pro Fitness. I'm going to speak a little softer. I have the gym all to myself for now. This is the Pilates routine, the Pilates core routine I did about two days ago here at the gym in between my weight training. So I want to share it with you, some of my personal favorite moves. And if you've been enjoying this channel, you can uh, click the link below in the About section and donate if you see fit. I appreciate that. I smell like my new car air freshener. It's really strange. What a nice little contrast. The air freshener with the workout. Let's begin with 10 walkouts. Precision, breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Always use control modifiers. Need this is great for everybody. Cover the back edge of your mat. The pink mat. Let's dive down, tuck the chin, and walk out to plank position. Hands on the shoulders and walk back. Great for the spine rising up. Whew, shoulders back and down. Again, dive down. Walk out. There's two. Sink the heels down. Oh, can you feel that? Can you smell it? Alright, there's three. We got some nice music playing over the loudspeakers. Maybe you can hear that. <laughs> Four. Good. Pilates practice. This is all body weight, by the way. It's using your greatest asset, which is your body, as your 24-7 gym. Five more times. Let the weight of the head pull you down. Line up. Elbows in. There's six. Now, you can add three push-ups if you like, or you can add one push-up, or keep the plank. Up to you. I'm going to do three because I called it out. <laughs> Seven. All right, three more times. Tuck that chin, unwind the spine, walk it out. <sighs> I do believe we have two more times. Anyone else here? Okay. If someone shows up or a whole group of people, maybe I'll go to the voiceover. <sighs> Elbows into the sides, <sighs> working the core. Flowing from one to the next. One more time, tuck that chin. The head pulls you down, walk out. In the nose, out the mouth, walk it back. Rising up, and let's come down for the Pilates 100. I got new sweatpants, by the way. We're very excited about these. We all are. Okay, the head's all right. <laughs> you can go from tabletop position if you like, or extend the legs out. Heels together, toes apart. Let's do palms up. Breathing in the nose, out the mouth, five, in, five, out for a hundred times while pumping the arms. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, we got it. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more for extra credit. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Now, right leg in, left leg out. We're going to do 50 with the scissors or stick with the same hundred. Just like this, 50 times. Here we go. One, four, five. There's one. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. Four, one more time. Nice little surprise in there. Let's go into the roll up. Now, take the arms up. If you need to, use an elbow to bring you up off the mat. We want to peel that spine up very smoothly. Scooch back and then reach up and over the toes. So, inhale, come up. We're going to tuck the chin, round the upper back like a C curve, like a wheel, rolling down. Let me know if I hit the machine back there. All right. Yep. Yep, up, <laughs> and then peel off the mat, and up and over, okay? Five more times. <sighs> Massage that spine like a wheel, <sighs> peel off the mat, reach up and over the toes like there's a beach ball in your lap. Ah, the old beach ball. And lift. <sighs> Good, I love roll-ups, they're great for the spine. I say the spine first because we always think, oh, just abdominals, just abdominals and core. But massage that spine. Be very aware of how it moves, of articulating it one vertebrae at a time. Two more times. That's why we take that little breather there, that little break. 
to take out the momentum. So we're not just flying through it. We want to use those muscles. So here, pull that belly button in, peel the spine, and then reach up and over. Going into the big five, we come down, right knee in, left leg out. The single leg stretch, shoulders back or fingers to the back of the head, 20 times. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Balance it out, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Number two, single straight leg stretch, right leg up, left leg out, love this stretch. 10 times, you're gonna do two pulses. Exhale, exhale, draw the knee in close, switch. There's two, three, stabilize the core. Four, five, good, six, are you still there? Seven, hit that like button if you love your Pilates workouts or if you love my new sweatpants. All right, double leg stretch, 10 times, tabletop position, feet together, knees together, arms to the sides. Inhale, reach out. Keep the upper body in the same spot. Exhale, back in, there's one. In the nose, out the mouth, two. Oh, good, there's a poetry to this movement. There's such a fluidity, which is a tough word to say. There's five. And six. We're going to ten. Seven, we don't stop. And eight. Economy of movement. Nine. And ten. Bring the legs up, alternating leg drops. Inhale, lower the right leg. Exhale, bring it up. You alternate, or you can do double. Oh, you must, be, you must be practicing your teaching technique. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Special guest star. We'll have to give him credit later. All right, let's pick up where we left off. So I said alternating leg drops like this. Inhale, lower. Keep the lower back imprinted. Exhale, bring the leg up. Lift the chest. Or point the feet lower than both together. Flex and oh, up we go. Inhale. This is double straight leg stretch. But you always want to keep that lower back imprinted. If you feel tight in the lower back, Bend the knees. Oh, I didn't do that. Let's do five more times. Either one, so alternating leg drops or this one. You can add the crunch if you like. This is Pilates stance right here. Zip and lift. Two more times. Oh, we're right in the thick of it. We're in the mud. We're in the swamp of the big five. And there it is. Let's finish off with 20 crisscrosses. Knee across, lift the chest to the knee. 20 times. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, disturb those muscles. Always disturb them. Get them out of their safe spots. Ah, keep them always mixed up, challenged, sweating. I lost counting before. More and more. Two, three, four. Okay. Take a deep breath into the abdominals. Let those abs simmer for a second. And I'm going to join you in the backstroke. The backstroke. When you say it like that, it has to be something special. Ten times. Tabletop position. Arms up. Back is down. In the nose, inhale, reach up. Exhale, circle, 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 circle around. As low as you want to go, but keep this lower back down. And then, whew, nine more times. Circle, 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 squeeze. And then bring it back in. Let's do the whisper, the Pilates whisper. Okay, we're on number four. We're going to 10. I'm getting taller by the moment. I'm going to hit that, that uh, piece of machinery right there in a moment from all this lengthening. Okay, back in. Up, circle, 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 circle. Right there. Boom, three more times. Forgive the counting. I'm not a good counter. I never watched Sesame Street. I didn't follow the count. I watched Pinwheel, and I watched today's special. All right, around, and bring it in. Okay, scooch back. Roll up. You can stay with the roll up like we did before. Actually, let's start seated. Or, I'm going to add on the boat twist. So come on down. All right, let's start with the spine stretch. We're going to do 10 of these, by the way, alternating each time. I'm actually going both sides each time, or do the roll. Okay, 10 times either way. So here's how it works. I'm going to hit back here, maybe. We're going to roll up into boat, half boat, twist to the side, inhale, twist to the side, and then I can do that a little smoother. All right, here's number two. Down, really squeeze, pull that belly button into the spine and come up. Yes. And then, I think I'm doing an extra beat there. Let's take that up. Let's beat it. All right. Here's three. Up. We twist. Big squeeze in the sides. Twist. And then down. Now we're talking. 
Ah, das ist die richtige Antwort hier. Here's four. And twist, and then down. A lot of moves I love doing. I always do it with precision as much as possible. Sure, I shake. My form slips sometimes or all the time. But that's how it works. We're human. We're always practicing. We're always, we always want to improve. That is the quest. That is the hunger. That is, as Survivor would say, the burning heart. Okay, Survivor owes me money for that. Little plug there. Okay, up and remember, stay with the classic roll up if this is a little too intense. So these workouts are for you. You can pick and choose. You can take two exercises out of here that you really enjoy. And then, you know, leave the rest on the side of the road. I'm going to do three more. It's probably an extra one, but that's what we're made of. We're going to add on, again, disturb. Disturb the body, disturb the muscles. Don't become complacent. Okay. And down. Oh my God, my counting. I am so sorry. Just keep going. I'm going to do one more for good effect. I'm going to do one more. You can sit there and watch me do it if you like. No hard feelings. Abs in. Squeeze. Peel up. And pow. Okay. Feel like singing right there. Okay. Quick shake out, my friends. <sighs> my father's favorite move, the saw. Heels to the outside edges of the mat or wider, depending on your flexibility. Or if you're really tight, bring them a little closer. You make the call. Arms out. We're going to do 10 times. Two pulses each side. You want to twist. Two exhales, reach above and to the outside of that foot. Look to the back arm. So you're getting this big twist and this nice big hinge all the way through. Here's three. Twist a little further each time. Remember, it's your range of motion. Make it honest. Be honest with yourself. Don't steal somebody else's range of motion. That's recently been voted illegal in Colorado. Don't steal someone's range of motion. I think the punishment would be doing 100 burpees. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, one more time. Big opening in the chest. Twist. Pulse. Pulse. Now, my friends, this is called a seated twist. Is that the core phone calling? Nah, that would have done the joke. I'm sorry about that. Take the arms out, bend 90 degrees. We're going to pulse. Pulse. Inhale back to center like a rubber band is snapping you back while we're resisting it. Pulse. Pulse. Center. Ten more times. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Go a little further on the second one. Four. Oh, feel that looseness in the lower back. Functional training. I'm going to do two more for good measure. Oh, man. Okay. I'm sure we added some extra on there. Shake it out. Okay, the rollover. Now, rollover, I'll show you how we lead into it. Rollover is definitely more advanced. It's taking all the components we were using before about um, imprinting the spine, peeling it off the mat with that core strength and stabilization and power, putting it all together. So come on down. If you don't want to do the roll-up, you're free to do the the double straight leg stretch as we did before or alternating leg drops, okay? Putting that out there. <laughs> Legs 45 degrees, arms to the sides or overhead. You're going to exhale using the core. So take out momentum. You want to use the core and slowly peel off the mat. Lift the legs a little bit, flex, feel that stretch. It's going to go all the way down into your paraspinal muscle and then massage. Oh. Back down. All right, five more times. Again, I said before, you can take the arms overhead, definitely more advanced. It takes out that support you have, but it keeps putting the emphasis into your core, your stomach, your lower back, and your hips and your glutes, the center of your strength, supporting the spine and connecting the top and lower half together. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Two more times. Enjoy it, my friends. You've got to enjoy the movement. Keep you coming back. Stay consistent and see those benefits throughout. Not even what you expect a lot. New things popping up. That's the miracle of body weight training. The surprises that are constantly happening. Let's roll all the way up and bring it over. And now, this might be the toughest part of the workout, switching 
the cap. Oh, I'm working on that technique. Switching the cap comes right from the core. <coughs> Breaststroke. Come down. Classic Pilates move. Love adding this one in. Let me turn this way, actually. I have the camera set up here. I, want to, I just want to keep going. I want to keep it live. Okay, arms to the sides. Tuck the chin. Inhale, reach forward, open the legs. Exhale, pull back nice and slow. Feel that nice fluid movement in the shoulders. And then squeeze it in, working the back 10 times. Here we are. In the nose, out the mouth. One. Two, feel that lift. Three, lengthening. Four. I love training with you today. Thanks for training with me. We're going to keep it going right to the end. Six. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. One more time. And pull it back. Okay. I want to do Spider Man's or Spider Man push ups with swimming. Big finale. We, got, we could do a lot more here, but I think this will be good with a little stretch at the end. Body weight training. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's so fun. The options are unlimited. So don't put a number on this. We're going to do four Spider-Mans or Spider-Man push-ups and then eight swims. Just keep going. Here's Spider-Man. And here is Spider-Man push-ups. This one elicits groans. Okay, and then you come down the swim is opposite arm, opposite leg, eight times. It's up to you. Just keep going. Okay, four of these and then eight of those. I'll start here. One, two, three, four. Nice burnout. Lower down with precision, with integrity. One, two, three, five, six. I won't talk too loud because you're probably on your own counting. Again, if you want the push ups, oh, I can hear you guys out there celebrating. You're so excited that I did the push-ups, that you're doing them with me. Go faster if you like, but keep the form. Oh, I did an extra one. What is wrong with this guy wearing the red shirt? <laughs> and then down eight times. Nice burnout, but it's going to keep you lifted. You're going to leave this workout with extra energy and focus, I promise. Let's do two more of each one, okay? Two more of each one. Oh, yes. Because the gym is full. we got to get out of here. There's just so many people. <laughs> Four. One of my favorite burnouts right here. I want to leave the gym feeling taller, energized, aligned. No matter what I do, there's weight training or Pilates or power yoga. We're doing cardio or boot camps. Last one. Three, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Lift it all up. Happy Superman. Now let me give you a couple stretches here, my friends. Okay. First one, child's pose. Stretch it back. Sway side to side. Great stretch for your spine, for your paraspinal muscles, lower back, even the glutes and the shoulders. Keep breathing. That sequence we just did, you're welcome to do it again or call it quits here. Do it by itself. Do it in between your workouts at the end, at the beginning. Okay. Let me tilt this down a little bit. I'm really good at tilting cameras up dog with a twist. Open up the abdominals, keep the shoulders engaged. Same with the arms. Knees coming down or lift up. Now the twist, it's a little different. We do this twist, I want you to thread the needle. Take the leg back. Oh, do you hear that? That was my body releasing and moving back where it needs to be. So I might call that an adjustment. Ah, back. Let's do it one more time this side. There it is. Thread, thread, thread. Woo. Good stretch. You want to keep the muscles limber. Keep the circulation going to the blood. Does it pull? Again, you don't want that lethargic feeling. I love after a workout to feel energized and focused. And then open up, 
shoulders back and down. Child's pose. Did I write anything else down? No, okay. Straddle, walk forward. But first, come on, child's pose for a second. I'm sorry, I'm just pushing all over the place, but of course, you can stay in child's pose longer if you like. Some of my clients have been known to take an extra amount of time in child's pose. Open the chest. Now, straddle with a little walk forward action here. Stay there. I want you to come to a seated position. You don't run out of film here. Straddle stretch. As wide as you can. Bend the knees if it feels extra tight. Let me do this. Okay. Now just walk forward as far as you can go. If you've been practicing your straddle stretch, it's almost like I call it a walkout. Take the hands behind, come forward. A little bit of a plank here. And then back we go. We're going to do that two more times or hold the stretch, okay? Woohoo! Good. Feel that extra stretch. Still engaging the arms and the shoulders. So we're not completely just letting go of everything. We're still engaged. And one more time. Engage. Engage. Uh, you can do a little push up here. Take it back. Oh, thank you very much, my friend. Shake it out. By the way, the shirt I'm wearing is my... It's a new book I wrote called Pilates for Athletes. It's in the about section below. Bestseller on Amazon. Written for everybody. Great for all sports. It's an e-book. Uh, available on Amazon and iTunes. Definitely recommend picking it up. Take it with you anywhere. It's filled with exercises and five original workouts that I put together and filmed just for this book. Flies for Athletes, Sean V. Fitness. Thank you so much for uh, keeping it up there on the best selling list. I appreciate that. And uh, today we're at the gym. Tomorrow we'll be on a mountaintop. Nobody knows where we'll be next. All I know is I want to jump up onto that pull up bar. God bless, my friends. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and you can donate below in the about section. I love working out with you. Let's do it again real soon. Oh, hey, it's like I'm in second grade again. Grow old along with me. Milford Dupree, though he knew it was rude, talked with his mouth full of food. He never would burp or walk out in the nude, but he talked with his mouth full of food. His mother said, Milford, it's crude and it's lewd to talk with your mouth full of food. Why, even the milk cow who mooed as she chewed never mooed with her mouth full of food. And the cuckoo would never have ever cuckooed if he cooed with his mouth full of food. His dad said, get married or go get tattooed, but don't talk with your mouth full of food. If it was a crime, you would surely get sued if you talked with your mouth full of food. Why just ask an animal? You should be zooed as you talk with your mouth full of food. For you know we're all put in a terrible mood when you talk with your mouth full of food. They pleaded and begged. He just giggled and chewed and laughed with his mouth full of food. And all they advised him, he simply poo-pooed. He poo-pooed with his mouth full of food. So they sent for the gluer and had his mouth glued, because he talked with his mouth full of food. Now, instead of good morning, he says, Good morning.